CNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 30th of September, last day of the month. You can see the candle on the right for the uh, Dow. A leg C to the downside. You can see the arch formation taking out the left side low of June in the weekly chart. And we're holding the low of four days ago so far of 28.958 in the Dow. Dow's up 23, attempting some kind of a little H pattern, a U turn. We'll see if that can happen. The histogram of the MACD has started to improve. That's the first sign. The stochastic's now over 10%. That's good. SP, SP at this moment is trading up 15. Now, that's a really good sign. It didn't take out yesterday's low, and it's moving higher. But if by Tuesday of this week, we can see a move into the 30, it's a 36.56, up 16, into the 36.90s, especially in the 3700s, that'll be the first time that we're seeing the overbought signals with the technical start to improve with price. And that's going to be important. Otherwise, taking out the lows of yesterday would be very, very negative. The QQQ, nice move up, up 2.19 at 274. Uh, it's got a lot of work to do. Uh, the technicals are improving very slowly, but 278 is the big resistance to take out next week. IWM, the Russell 2000, much better move, actually. It's a 2.4 up. Up 1.43% uh, at 163.39. Let's see what happens next week. Looking at the the gold, uh, gold right now is trading up at uh, 12. This is a very good move in gold. The technicals have improved, and but the nine is still far from cl closing over the 14. If you're looking at the dollar, the dollar actually is up 19 ticks. It's just sitting on the 14 period moving average at a peak D, and that just says. Yes, there's a really good chance that the dollar's going to have a little bit of a digestive phase right here. If you're looking at the TLT, that is bonds down again. It's down 21 ticks at 103 yields moving up again. And if you're looking at crude oil, I didn't do much of that in my Tiger Technicians hour, uh, an hour ago, this past hour when I did my show. But it's down 75 cents. Crude oil is not yet really moving to the upside. So um, the commodities in general have been kind of weak. So we're looking at a very important uh, two days coming up today, finish today, see what happens with the chart. But how, if there is a strong move, it has to be start early next week. By Tuesday, Wednesday, we need to be moving much higher. Taking out the lows that we made this week would be very negative. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, check out my opening call and stay tuned. You've got, uh, as Steve Rhodes recorded his show earlier today, it'll be coming up. Great program today. See you on Monday. And I hope those of you in Florida are already surviving well and uh, our thoughts are with you. Have a great day.